Hi, this is Jonathan from Paper Shooters, and today we're going to talk about which glue is best for you. We have a number to test today. We have glue gun, some double-sided sticky tape, some Pritt sticks, some multi-purpose glue, another Pritt stick, um, some glue gel, some super glue, and a few clips to help us out this afternoon. So we thought we would use the barrel detail, because there's four of those, so that gives us a good comparison. First of all, we'll just roll these up, um, making sure to get a good form. Uh, once they're rolled up, we're going to stick the first one with a line of super glue. So we'll just apply that to the tab, uh, popping the lid back on, and then taking great care not to get the super glue on your fingers because it will stick instantly. Um, glue that tab firmly down, and that really has stuck within a couple of seconds. Uh, there's a very strong bond. Next, we're going to apply the, um, the glue gel. This is also called contact glue in other countries. So again, a line of that glue down the tab. <coughs> Pop the lid back on and stick uh, that barrel detail down. Again, making sure getting a good contact with the glue throughout the tab. And I've got a couple of clips here just to hold that in place for a short while while the glue, group, glue dries. Now we'll try the multi-purpose glue. There's more of a sort of a... Um, translucent glue, put a line of that down and again seal that, spreading the glue across the, uh, the glue tab and putting a couple of clips in place to hold that down. Finally the fourth barrel detail we're going to use some good old glue peter style double sided sticky tape. So first of all we'll cut some strips of this. This is um, double sided carpet tape. Um, it was the strongest I could buy in the, in the hardware store. So a few strips of that Take off the backing paper, uh, which I had some fingernails, and then once the backing paper is removed, put that in place, and then again forms a, an instant uh, bond. So we've got four different ones to choose from, so we'll leave those for a while. So double sided sticky tape, of course, has dried, well, hasn't dried, has stuck firmly, no problems. Um, the super glue, again, was pretty much dry the second I let go of it. Didn't really need the clips, but put them on has formed a very good uh, bond throughout. The multi-purpose glue, not quite as good. There's a little bit of gap there. Uh, glue's not quite dry in 30 minutes, so we'll leave that a little bit longer. Um, the contact glue, again, that's dried very, very well and given a very, very firm joint along the full barrel. So now I'm going to stick these to the, uh, to the barrel itself. So first of all, I'm going to use the Pritt stick for one. Stick that down. Test the other Pritt stick on the next one. And again, liberally provide, uh, liberally spread the glue on there. And pop that down. And next one, we're going to test out the glue gun. So just a quick strip of uh, glue down there, and pop that onto the base. And then finally, we'll use another row of super glue um, to stick the last piece of detail on. So. So I just put those onto the onto the barrel, so you can see the oh, the first Pritt stick didn't hold very well. So that was the first one. Second one also uh, didn't hold very well. So Pritt stick not good for rounded pieces. Super glue held fine, and the glue gun also has formed a really strong bond, even if quite a thin line where I applied the the uh, the, the plastic. So glue. So the next piece that I find difficult is the iron sight at the front because these are small tabs. So first of all we're going to apply some super glue to the first tab, stick that down. A few seconds and that has uh, dried almost instantly and has provided a really good bond for that iron sight. So no issues there at all. So the next one we'll try the uh, multi-purpose glue. So I'll grab some of that. Again, apply a little dollop. Uh, quite messy as the tab closes, most of the glue gets kind of squidged out. So we put a clip on there and give it some time, but even after half an hour, it still hasn't really dried and hasn't really formed a good bond, so not a good effort there. So we'll go back to the super glue um, just to stick this piece down. So again, popping the lid back on, pushing that tab down again, keeping your fingers out of the way because your fingers will stick to the card, and that forms a bond very, very quickly. I think is probably the best choice for uh, for where you've got tension on the on the joint. So we'll try on the other side with some with a glue gun, 
stick that tab down. And it's a little bit warm on your fingers, but it's not too bad. And again, that forms an instant bond and dries very quickly, if perhaps a little bit too fast. Um, so stick that down again, wiping off any excess plastic. Um, and that's pretty much done. So how do we score each one? First of all, we've got the contact glue. Um, I've given that an overall score of 23. Pretty good. Uh, the print sticks, the glue sticks, yeah, not really ideal for this purpose. Then the multi-person adhesive again took too long to dry um, and wasn't really suitable for, for this purpose so again not a great score. Super glue, um, can't really fault it. The only issue was it's quite expensive for a little tube. You probably need one maybe two of them if you want to do it all with super glue but fantastic. Double sided sticky tape, personally my favourite. I use this when I'm building it just because it's quick and easy to use and very there's very little mess so we'll give that an overall score of 27. Um, I'm not a glue gun fan, they dry a bit too fast for me, but they are very, very strong. Um, and I probably make too much mess with them. If you're better at using them, then perhaps you could uh, create less mess and be able to cope with the speed that the glue gun dries. So, overall we've got kind of three um, not quite so good glues, print sticks I would definitely not use, multi-purpose glue and the contact glue not so great. Glue gun, very good if you're better at using it than me. Double-sided sticky tape was, again, very good, my personal favourite. But overall, I think for the best results, get yourself a tube of super glue and uh, keep your fingers out of the way.